Is this, is this on? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is my name is Brenda, and I'm here to uh, sing a song for you that um, I wrote for somebody very special, and it's a song that really means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoy it a lot too. Jesus, this is scary. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to In Out the Lead, the show where we review both new and older movies. My name is Gino. Robert. Ricardo and America and we are coming to you live from our editing bay if you are new to the show we're using the rating system of in out delete in if you liked it loved it enjoyed the film and would probably recommend it out if you did not like the movie and would not recommend it and delete if it was the worst movie ever made and you want to find that doctor from eternal sunshine of the spotless mind to erase <laughs> the memory of the movie because you can't bear the thought of having watched it so this week we watched yesterday and Ricardo's pick, which was Natural Born Killers, for us to watch. So let's, let's get to it, yeah. Yesterday, Ellie bought you a present. All my troubles seem wow. so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Oh my. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? Yesterday, a struggling musician realizes he's the only person on Earth who can remember the Beatles after waking up in an alternate timeline where they never existed. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Who's going first? I'll, I'll go first since right. I already opened my mouth. <laughs> For sure, I'm out. Whoa. I'm out on this one. Okay. I, oh, God. Like, a world without Beatles. That, that to me, is like... An interesting idea, but then as the movie progresses, it starts getting annoying. Um, the the guy singing the song, the Beatles songs, is pretty cool, but they're just they're, the storyline just flat, boring to me. Like, I thought there was gonna be a moment like, oh, it was all a dream, or it was all nope, the acting was all right. The only one, the only person I liked that made me laugh the most was the girl that came out in SNL, Kate something. I forget. Kate McKenna. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's the only one I liked out of the whole movie. Everyone else is just annoying, and I was just, hmm. like, bored of my mind, especially the one roadie friend. Oh. Uh, like the, Rock? Like, was his name Rocky? Rocky? I don't know. Either way, that guy, that guy is, I don't know how to say it, but he, he, he was just over the top, like, I'm that, I'm a bum, but I, you know, try to be professional, but I'm, I'm the comic the relief of the movie right now. Like, oh, can I get a chip? <laughs> you know, I'm just like, so it was pretty I'm like, I'm not drunk, but I drank two pints of beer. I'm like, oh well, fuck, bro, you're drunk, <laughs> or you're buzz, whatever. But yeah, either way, um, I'm, I'm out. I don't know what else got to say about that. I'll go next. Yeah. I'm in. I like this movie. I thought it was fun. I love the Beatles, obviously, so seeing their songs and I like the way they they perform the songs. I like them enough. I thought the performances were pretty good. The main the main guy and the main girl. It was fun enough to see, but I liked this movie, but I was expecting to love it because it's Danny Boyle, one of my favorite directors, and the Beatles, which I love, and I just didn't. I liked it, and I think it's because the screenplay was a little bit, not weak, but just kind of generic because you have no, this, I like, think it was weak. yeah, so you have this really yeah. great premise, right? The Beatles, nobody remembers them. And then you have this kind of mediocre and generic love story kind of shoved into it, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, to make up time. So you have, like, two competing storylines. The generic love story, which you know what's going to happen, right? Even though you mm-hmm. kind of care about the characters, you know where it's going, you I know how care. it's going to go. And you have the more interesting story of the guy making the songs that just kind of, that part of the movie just stalls for a long time. Yeah. You know, and the ending is fine. So I, I overall, I really enjoyed the movie. I had a great time in the theater. I laughed, and I, I got into the story enough to, to like it, but just not... Okay, it's it's a good movie, but a missed opportunity at something great. Uh, I am in on this Ooh. one too. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's the same thing. I I actually like the songs, and they they were performed badass too. Yeah. But um, yeah, that story was a little annoying, huh? Mm-hmm. Like the even the character was like you like you were saying it was kind of uh, you know, I don't know. Like I, it was missing a lot more, but it actually made me appreciate the Beatles more. Actually, it was pretty cool. No, I, I think I appreciated him just fine before. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because I forgot about him. I forgot about the Beatles. Beatles are old, okay? <laughs> before you knew that. And then there's like a lot of cool scenes that that I guess helped me go in, like that John Lennon scene, you know? 
I so. thought that was kind of weird. It's yeah, I thought it was cool. It was weird, cool. but I thought it, it was it was kind of cool. I, yeah, I, 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 I kind of like that part. But the, I don't know, like, I really didn't like his decisions. Yeah, like, little things were bugging me, and then the story is kind of pushed out together, and I stopped caring about that love story, right? Yeah, it's not yeah. even important. Yeah. So I, But I'll still, I'll, yeah, I'll watch it again. You know, it's yeah. it's fun. I I laughed too, and that character you didn't like, the friend. Yeah. I thought he was funny. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I feel like I feel like he was forced in there. Be <laughs> but it's cool. So, what do you think? Um, I'm out. Oh. I didn't oh. have super high expectations. I just expected to like have like fun in the movie, right? Like you're gonna be like I don't know, probably singing along or something. And I think the movie was just super flat like the story like the screenplay it needs to be tightened up all the way yeah. like it like in the first half of the movie before he gets famous i think that just dragged yeah it dragged Agreed. so much it was like um one song and then nothing and then another song mm-hmm. and the songs didn't exactly it didn't exactly feel like a musical it just kind of felt like I, it was weird it was an awkward transition from like the drama the reality to um into the song Mm -hmm. um so that took me out of it and um yeah the love story sucked how are they friends for so long no one ever expresses any interest at all like not even a hint or anything so then when they end up getting together and they're like oh i love you and then they end up having children it's like dude shut up oh (laughs) yeah that was pretty (laughs) dumb huh yeah i didn't buy it i didn't really buy the the situation I, was, I really, I, was, I, I did like what they did with the music though. Like at the beginning when he gets hit by a bus. Yeah. Um, when it was a, was it a day in the, in a, a day in the life, right? Yeah, yeah. they yeah. kind of weave. Yeah. The yeah. So it was, it was just like, yeah. it wasn't exactly a song at the beginning. It was just kind of like a little beat or something. Mm-hmm. And then when he gets hit, it's like, oh yeah, like this whole time it was a song. So mm-hmm. I thought that was really, really interesting. I enjoyed some of the elements, but overall, like I don't even think the directing was very well. Really? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was done well at all. Um, I, don't I think that I don't think so. I think there was like a lot of pauses between like the characters' like responses to each other, and it just all felt kind of. At times it felt good. At other at other times it didn't. Yeah. So it, I just think this movie was really inconsistent. Yeah, um, I didn't like the and, girl getting a yeah, boyfriend right away, huh? It's like whoa! <laughs> I've been seeing some right away. Okay. Are you slut shaming her? That's I think, how you feel. But I, I I agree with that. You know, it is it is inconsistent. It's just I. I fall onto the positive, right? I think there was enough in there, and I I, I love Danny Boyle, so it had enough yeah. of his flair. And I do that, see like I, I do it, see it, all of yeah, him in there. It's I kind do, of yeah. it's kind of his 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 style just kind of stamped on this. That's, you know? I, I it, it doesn't feel like a, a story kind of that he would tell. Maybe I, you know? I don't think the yeah. story fits his direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you can tell that's Danny Boyle. Uh-huh. You can yeah. tell, like, but maybe he just has one type of directing yeah. which i don't think fit this story yeah it's like a, so, a really cool chef making like a grilled cheese sandwich you know yeah, like, <laughs> you can only, there's only so much style you can put into it yeah, don't make it too fancy yeah. like you know but this yeah i i i, I had really high expectations for this like Me i too. went in like yeah. you know danny boyle the beatles i'm gonna this is gonna be one of my favorite movies ever and it reminds me a lot of his other his previous movie um steve jobs because again that's a movie where it's like i i love the subject i love danny boyle but it's it's a decent movie, but it's just it not. Sh- yeah, it, it just short. falls short like just a little bit. I thought it was. Good. I like it, but it's just not falling. And this one too. I'm just saying, like the experience is similar. It's a really. Sh- it's a shame that they chose that. You know, friend love story. You know, yeah. I think a more interesting story would have been like had they been together already. Yeah. You know, and the sure. fame is what drives them apart. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and I, unlike you, you know, I thought Kate McKinnon's character is the only one I didn't like. I was, just, being, I was being sarcastic. She's, yeah, oh, you were, <laughs> I wasn't serious about She's funny. And, you know, I, I think she's really, really funny and great. But her performance just felt like she was an, an SNL skit. And it's I like, agree. get out of it. That, you that's know? what it's I'm like, saying. It's one no. And it's like, it's so awkward every time she like, she's supposed to be kind of a jerk, you know, executive. And it's just really weird. And it didn't work yeah. for me at all. Those whole scenes where they're at the recording studio and they're dealing with all that stuff. I know what the movie's trying to say, but it's just, it just fell off. And, I didn't like that the story went in that direction, I guess. Yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, what do you call it? With the performances were still, like, great, no? Yeah, I, I like the main two guys. Even mm-hmm. though I don't like their story and I don't really care, I think they're good enough to make you care, like, the least amount yeah. about what's going to happen <laughs> to them. Because by the end, I was like, all right, they're good together. You know, it's fine. I'm happy for them. But, again, it's just not great. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. just de- it's just... 
I mean, it's, it's Friday night entertainment, right? You go watch it, have a good time, and then that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. never watch it again. It was enjoyable and, enough. And but that's I think why I'm in. Barely. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. And then I think some of the song little sequences were really, like, they felt empty. Like, when, especially when they were in the tunnel and they're, like, dancing, and I think it's yeah. Hello Goodbye. Uh-huh. It just felt like it was missing so much. Yeah, I felt like he, I I liked it aesthetically, but it and it wasn't invested they, enough. In they it. Yeah. didn't seem like they were really into it. Mm-hmm. They were probably told go and dance on the street, yeah. do whatever, and they did a bunch of shitty takes. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, I guess this is the best one. Yeah. But it didn't. It didn't. I didn't feel. I agree. And that yeah. whole sequence of them kind of like that little adventure of yeah. them kind of like sort of falling in love type of thing. I I don't think it yeah. was. Because yeah. by that point of the story, you're just kind of bored and like, yeah. okay, we're taking a detour from what should be interesting mm. to go back to this love story that we've yeah. seen 10 million times already yeah. with just a little bit of Beatles sprinkled onto it. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I mean, to be honest, the way it ended, like this whatever happy ending, whatever, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be like cut to like them pulling the plug on him. He's in a coma. Yeah. And it, I, that's, I, I, I thought it was going to be That's what I was like hoping. I was straight to yeah. God hoping that was going to happen. Really? I was like, dude, at least That'd this gives so me some sad. enjoyment yeah. of the movie. Would yeah. you do that though? Would you tell Oh yeah, I was I, actually going to ask I that wish, too. I wish that yeah. he hadn't confessed to it. Yeah. There's no point. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Well, the question I was going to say is that if you guys woke up in a world that didn't know the Beatles, would you guys do what he did? Yes. Yeah. Oh, if Probably. I knew the lyrics. Yeah. I, I, I would do it. it. Yeah. Like, I would, I'm like I that lady too. and the man yeah. who are like, thank you. We, yeah. we love the Beatles, but yeah. we just can't sing, so thank you. And take credit for it? I I think I... No. Yeah, Probably at the beginning, yeah. yeah. I don't care. Yeah. And I, you saved John Lennon. That's fucking dope. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> I dead. kind of didn't <laughs> understand exactly. Wait. So, like, he got saved because he was never oh, a Beatle? Yeah, because that timeline doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. I thought they just all wouldn't exist, you know, like, as Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Paul's out there. Ringo's out there. What's he doing? George Maybe Harris Ringo is was actually more successful in this timeline. We never <laughs> <Maybe>. know. <laughs> I also thought that the storyline with the the lady, the submarine lady, was gonna go a different way. You know how they end up thanking him for the for re- releasing the Beatles music. Mm. I thought that it was gonna go badly. Yeah. I thought she was gonna like ruin his little fantasy that he had going on. But like, yeah. It, again, everything's just kind of like. Out. I thought the it's Russian guy. Flat, yeah. I thought the Russian guy was gonna be like the next Mark Chapman. That <laughs> one, I was like, oh, this is legit. Because when he went home and looked up his shit, I was like, oh, this is it. This yeah, is, he's, it's gonna end with this dude getting shot like John Lennon did. Sorry, oh John Lennon. God. But yeah, you know, like seriously, like oh my god, that would have been better than what we had. Shit, exactly. <laughs> That's the what movie I'm saying. would have been super dark after that. I, I oh, thought it was shit. gonna have a dark element, especially because of the directing. Like, you know how the window. From the living room into the doorway, yeah, they're there's that distorted mm-hmm. like um, window. That has to mean something. You can't just throw that in there, Dan- Danny Boyle. Like just saying, well, like, I think that's not they, a good. They, I don't think they show that to. Well, this is my theory to show that people after the blackout or whatever are distorted, right? Oh, it, I, it changes you know what? people's You're viewpoint. Right. Yeah, but it is a little. It seems a little eerie. It does, you know. Yeah, and then really Ed does. Sheeran pops out, and it's yeah. like that's dumb, dude. Yeah. Like that's ah, hey, it's dude. so empty. I, like it's. I feel like that was a false promise right there. Like, and then yeah. the lady who was your favorite, John Paul George, whatever, you know, like yeah, yeah. the the little hand with the submarine keeps popping out. I really think like they had it could have gone a little differently, which also would have been weird if they had gone with like an eerie type of thing. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, I just think they probably should have kept those out. I mean, there's so many places the story could have gone. It's yeah. That's why it's a shame that it went the way it went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're on in? I'm out. Oh, we should. Out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so we have two ins. Me two and Ricardo are in and two outs. Yeah. Two outs. But I, I think we're all kind one. of agreeing on the movies is where we land yeah. on yeah. the spectrum. Yeah, I'm not watching yeah. this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. So just kind of just overall just kind of disappointing. Nikki and Mallory. by thousands. I love you so much, baby. I love you. Watched by millions. We're fake. Can't stop fake. Nobody can. It's kind of like the Twilight Zone or something. Woody Harrelson, Juliet Lewis, Robert Downey Jr., and Tommy Lee Jones. Natural Born Killers. Natural Born Killers. Two victims of traumatized childhood become lovers and psychopath serial murderers irresponsibly 
glorified by the mass media. Ooh, the tone of voice. Dun, dun, dun. Another movie. Another so, Ricardo, why did you pick this movie? I, oh yeah, so, Natural Born Killers is one of those movies that when I was a little kid, I loved. Like, I you loved this it. as a yeah, kid. Yeah, dude. Fuck. I know, I know, because <laughs> I saw it again and I was like, fuck. <laughs> but whatever, and uh, I really like the soundtrack as well. Like, I think it's my favorite soundtrack at a, at a movie. Yeah, and I still think it's pretty fun and cool. So, I just wanted to see if whoever, like, and I know a lot of people haven't seen it, so I wanted to see if you guys enjoyed it. So I'm torn. I'm a little bit between in and out, leaning towards out. I really like a lot of the elements of this movie. I do enjoy it. I enjoy looking at it. I think. It has a lot, um, I don't know, kind of like artistically, I think there's a lot in this movie, but every time I watch it, I just find it so hard to stick with it. Like, I'll just start looking at something else. Like, I don't know. I, like, as a movie, I can't watch it all the way through. I don't think I've ever watched it all the way through. So, I think I'm going to have to be out. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't hold your interest? I don't know. Like, I, th- I think it's really, really cool. But as a movie, I just can't watch it all the way through. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. I think I think it's, like, my favorite love story. Um. <laughs> for real. <laughs> I think it is. This right. is, like, Romeo and Juliet for him, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm out as well, man. Oh. I, I want to say in because, you know, I love Quentin Tarantino, and he didn't write it, so to say he did a story. He basically credited him as story. Mm -hmm. Um, because Oliver Stone did change a lot from the script apparently Um, yeah Woody Harrison did a good job I'll admit that he he made me feel interested of his character Mickey but damn Juliette Lewis though man (laughs) god (laughs) like I wanted to like her and I wanted to feel her performance but at the same time I was like like bring it, bring it down a notch. You, really? Like you went. Huh. It's like it's like hmm. the like Tropic Thunder. Like when the guys like you, they never go full retard. Like she went <laughs> full fucking like psychopath. And mm. and I guess in a way like, you know, it's her it's that's her character is because she was traumatized and all that. But at the same time, like I'm like bring it down a notch. And Ronnie Dangerfield's in it, and that got me like what the fuck. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect his ass to be in that movie because I'm so used to him. so disturbing, too, dude. That's good. Not, <laughs> That's, like, I, the perfect use yeah, of that, <laughs> that I go, oh, that I give, I give it all away. Because even, I'm like, dude, that dude's funny. Like, I've seen most of his, like, mo- movies in the 80s. And he's funny. And this one's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah dude. Like, I wasn't ready for that. Those oh, eyes, man. dude. <laughs> but I will give the fact that I did enjoy when there was moments, like, something crazy happened. It cuts to certain, like, images. Mm-hmm. Like, Woody Harrison covered in blood or... Um, the devil, like it's certain. I like those, like these edits. They, the edit is really well done, yeah. especially when they filmed. I what I, was, I believe the stage with this background mm-hmm. projection. The projection. I loved it. It was. I was. I thought that was really cool. Like I thought I was like, wow, that's really interesting. And how commercials, also commercials like Coca Cola, especially. Like, <laughs> yeah. They put you emphasizes, through the commercial. Like was, that's so funny, right? Like yeah. a, a commercial within a movie. And uh, yeah, like I like those things. But like I said, like just, and, and Robert Jr., Downey Jr. too. This, yeah, this, that's crazy. You know what? I think I just like everyone's performance, but Juliet Lewis. Mm-hmm. Even I, I, I prefer her. I prefer Tom Lee Jones's over quacky two face so style funny, acting dude. he did yeah. in this one I, I, more I, I, than Juliet Lewis. So funny, he's so funny. Yeah, and then also <laughs> that what's the guy Tom Savini, the, the, that guy that plays Detective Sick. Zucchini. I forget Sick. his name. Tom Sizemore. <laughs> Tom Sizemore. Thank <laughs> you. I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. I was confusing. I was confusing his character's name to Scagnetti. Thank you. It's like even he was, I thought he was fucking cool. Like, yeah. like this ad's dope. But then Julia Lewis comes in, and <laughs> like, like there you she really is. Don't like her. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Is it her haircut? Is that no. what's bothering you? No, it's not bothering me. No, no, no. But <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm, 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 I'm out. I mean, I I want to stay in, but at the same time, like, no, 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 I'm out. It's like America. Your heart like, tells you no. My heart tells me no. Yeah. You, Robert. So I'm in. I I like this movie. <laughs> I liked it enough. I didn't love it, but I liked it enough. Um, I love Oliver Stone, so I like his style. And this is like Oliver Stone at a hundred, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it, it, this is every other like you know all of his other movies are similar with the cuts and all that, the way he goes to black and white. But this is like really like over the crazy, crazy. Shit. Like he yeah, he didn't pump the brakes on anything on this. The reason why I'm in, I think you know I would normally be out on this type of movie, you know, where it's like every just everything more just like crazy things thrown at you than actual story. Yeah. But I like the satire. 
I like what it's what it's talking about. You yeah. know how we kind of like we glamorize these these mass yeah, murderers really and serial killers. Yeah. You know, and this movie was made what in nineteen ninety four again and uh, and, huh? and <laughs> we're still doing it today and it's more relevant today than than ever. I do listen so, to those serial killer. Podcasts. Yeah, you see, like, <laughs> oh, and you know, and I'm one of them too. I'll fucking watch a serial killer show, but. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this fascination about yeah. serial killers and the way we look at them. So everything everything that's over the top about Woody Harrelson, everything that's over the top about Juliette Lewis is simply feeding into the way we look at it as a yeah. society, right? So all of that stuff works. Even when it does get a little h- kind of hard to watch with the stuff they're showing you and just all the bad trips they're going through. Mm-hmm. But I, I really like the satire enough to... Like, I know what it's saying, and it's saying it very well. It's over the top to... to because it is ridiculous, right? Yeah. And it needs to show us that, right? I, I, so I, that's why I like it. Um, I like the performance. I love Tom Lee Jones. I think he was filming Batman Forever at the same time. That's why, <laughs> like, he just walked from well, one actually, set to the other and I, didn't change. All he did was take off the makeup and he was still crazy. <laughs> I, I uh, have the DVD so yeah. you can see behind the scenes or whatever. Yeah. This, it was filmed in three weeks. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't read that. Crazy. But it was, it was edited like in six months oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love editing this. It would have been so much fun to edit something like this. Imagine yeah, and on film, sure. you know, <laughs> cutting between all the different formats and just the amount of. I think it has more cuts than a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's that's I, hard. I think the satire maybe is one of the reasons that I'm out. Really? I think it's a mm. little heavy-handed. Like I understand what they're saying, yeah. But I do think they're really putting it in your face, maybe, right? So if yeah. you don't understand, you'll fucking get it. Yeah. But I don't know. I think like I like those things to be a little more subtle. I'm not saying like make it obscure. I but it just felt like a lot. Yeah, I just think a it kind of has to be. You know, this is like you know this is aimed more at like the the stupid people who do watch you know those what? type You're of right. TV yeah. shows, right? Yeah. The w- guys who watch the Robert Downey Jr. shows, like, yeah. really get into it, right? This is shoving, you have to shove it in her yeah. face. Like, look at how stupid audience. you are, right? Because, <laughs> like, people like, I mean, I'm not saying we're smarter than anybody, but people like us, we're, we're kind of under, we understand what he's trying to say, right? Yeah. yeah. But, and that's why it was so controversial when it came out, right? Yeah. Because people didn't really understand it and maybe don't understand it now. Uh, I have no idea if that's what Quentin Tarantino was going for, but that's definitely what Oliver Stone Oliver did. Stone did. Um, yeah. It's definitely an Oliver Stone movie. I, you, I don't, you could barely see any Quentin Tarantino in this. <laughs> I know um, at all. Like, and I apparently, know. he hated it, right? Yeah. He hates it. It's and I think he released his He's screenplay. He's an too. <laughs> <laughs> He's a delete, actually. Yeah. Oh, there you go. But yeah. he actually got to release his screenplay. I don't know. Have I you read it, yeah. Ricardo? Is, yeah. Is it a lot different? Is it? It's it's pretty different. Yeah. It still has the same. Uh, like characters, everything. Like, like the storyline is yeah, the same. The, yeah, everything that happens still happened, but I guess he added everything, right? But yeah, that, you know, so is it in the direction or is it in the script? <laughs> what do you mean? Like the changes that Oliver Stone made, are they? Did he make changes to the script or is it changes in yeah. the way he directed nah, it? Nah, the script because yeah. he, you know, Tarantino always starts from yeah. the back. Yeah, so it starts backwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't think difference. Tarantino does a lot of satire, right? Well, at least yeah, like for this sure, for sure. right yeah. so they just probably took the kernel of his idea and he's like oh we could use this story to to say this about what whatever we want to say and plus yeah. the characters are pretty cool mickey and mallory I, yeah i, 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 think I, they're yeah. Really I good love characters. i love yeah, yeah. both of the performances I do, yeah they're God. both of them Dude, yeah the, both of them is yeah. It, is it the, does it open when she's in the house right and her dad's being all ugly to her no it opens with the, in the diner Oh yeah, just kidding. Yeah. No, well that's and then right that, after that is, yeah, is the house. The house scene. Oh man, that yeah. is so disturbing. Yeah. That's why and I'm they like, put, so, like a that's why I'm like stuck between in and out, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's like so much of it I like, but I don't know. It's and so then, nasty, but that is dude. so disturbing. Like yeah. it just and then adding a laugh track to it. Like of course it's something so fucking like demented or something. Yeah. Like yeah, dude. who does it's that? Freaking... But it really that adds just so much like grossness and like it. Oh my god, that scene is disgusting yeah dude i could see yeah. being turned off and just like not yeah, yeah you get what they're trying to say but like why put yourself through this you know i yeah. actually told ricardo yeah. that i was like i understand what they're doing yeah. they're setting him up they're setting up the dad as this disgusting pervert like just gross so gross, gross man dude. and i was like but is it absolutely necessary to take it all the way because i was disgusted by that like mm-hmm. i mean i can sit through it but it's just 
it's just so much it's so raw like it's i don't know it freaks me out but i think that just goes to show how good of a job oliver stone did like he's he's turning those screws you know he knows exactly he wants to gross you out right he wants you to feel exactly what you felt yeah that's why i'm saying it's stuck between in and out because he did it so well like it takes you there and Mm -hmm. you feel as scared as they are or you feel as like yeah, you I just mean, feel just ugly like, yeah, everything yeah. Just, yeah. you gotta take a shower after a while <laughs> yeah even even I read that Robert Danger Robert Dangerfield didn't Rodney Rodney damn it Robert Rodney, 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 Rodney. just you. no sorry no because yeah. I, I mixed up I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you sorry. messed up your name too huh you were trying to say damn Gino and damn, Robert. damn damn Gino <laughs> Gino <laughs> um, but yeah the, um, Rodney Dangerfield apparently when he read the script he didn't want to do it like he that's how disturbed it was oh, too even him yeah even like yeah. Like Oliver Stone's like convincing, like no, like get it, like it's it's, it's knew, disturbing, man. but it's not gonna be the not too much as you think it is. And then even though as I watch it, apparently there was body doubles that did the whole close up of the ass grabbing. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, I knew yeah. if I was Robert Dangerfield, I was like, need Dangerfield, I <laughs> need Dangerfield. Um, I would have probably been like, nah, I'm good, dude. I can't do this shit. Yeah. It's gonna mess up my fucking com- comedy, you know, rep, you know. But but his performance was great. Like yeah. I was just, I was creeped out by I was it. Scared of him. And right. I and then mm-hmm. there's some things he says and made me laugh with the laugh track, mm-hmm. but I'm like, wait, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know the shit that he's saying. Huh? And then it's like, oh, but it's Ronnie man. Dangerfield, man. Ronnie just has that that, that one liner is that, <laughs> yeah. that like you know, you, you you you. I can't do the voice, but you know, like, yeah. and then the wife is like that chick from you know Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> you know, so that she she kind of like, uh, did her thing like that 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 goofy like dumb mom like mm-hmm. oh I don't know yeah. what's going on but you know but she knows what's going on you know oh damn well yeah, yeah dude. That's, that's why she kills her she's like you knew what was happening you, like, you didn't do anything that was yeah. so fucked up and, and the brother I wonder yeah. how it happened yeah. to the brother be free, like, be free Kevin yeah. <laughs> they were actually gonna make a sequel oh Nudge, really Nudge yeah. born Kevin yeah <laughs> 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 it's just Kevin Myers no but I actually read that that Rodney Dangerfield like didn't really quite understand what was happening like mm-hmm. why is like didn't know like for him it, no like he was uncomfortable <laughs> doing the things he did like Aww. but he wasn't he wasn't aware that it was a satire and then when he saw it he understood and he's like yeah. oh i understand and yeah. he and he liked it yeah. yeah i mean it's definitely different reading something and seeing yeah. it it yeah. really is a lot of times just yeah. like in the direction um so yeah i think if i was an actor an actress or an actor um I would also be hesitant to do this because it's. I mean, I can just imagine how that looks on paper. Yeah. It must look disgusting. Like it's just. Yeah, I'd be like, "What the hell are you giving me?" Like, no, I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys saw what Virgin did. You guys I, see Virgin or Virgin? Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see. The, definitely not the director's cut. Me too. Dude, that's what just we the saw. I put cut. like I guess really? I just put whatever, and that one was in. I can't it's imagine it. Right? I think I'd be out on a director's cut. Apparently, the director's <laughs> cut had more visuals of Tommy Lee Jones' death scene. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. Spoiler alert. Head on a stick. Because they put him on a stick. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't know that. His head. I, it's no. Okay. Disturbing. Definitely did not watch that. Version. Yeah, his head is on a stick, yeah. and then they throw a body part across the screen. Oh, too. I don't know what it is, but they throw oh. a body part. It's pretty nasty looking. But, but I, I love Oliver Stone. I love JFK. I love Nixon. Right. The oh, Doors. Have you seen the, the Doors? Doors? All of this is really similar style. Also, and, like some Jesus thing on it, no? <laughs> like some <laughs> religious thing on it or something. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but um. What was I going to say? Yeah, so you know how I saw this as a kid and whatever, and I loved it, whatever. No wonder you're so fucked up. I would never show this to a kid, dude. Yeah, you should. I would. Like, nah, no, no, no. Dude, okay. Dude, okay. okay, let me let, let me let me, let me rephrase Are that. They a let me rephrase that. I wouldn't show it to a kid, but I would wish a kid did some sneaking around behind my back and watched so, it. Right? Why? Because it's the type of movie that, that you do watch like without permission, right? Yeah. yeah. And it kind of I mean, it, it blows your mind up when you're a kid. For right? sure, but... You. Yeah. I don't know. And I if you're smart, I think you're and if you're kids. smart, you might not understand it, but it might open your mind up just enough, It might enough, unleash the right? demon. I don't know. Because yeah. isn't the teenage years <laughs> when people become terrorists, like, that's when they make their mind up, like, I'm yeah, a Yeah, but not because of movies. Because, I don't know. It's because of are... Rodney Dangerfield types that, <laughs> that abuse it. Yeah. yeah. I read that um, Tarantino, like, walked up after the first scene. Oh, he walked He out. walked out of it because uh, he hated it. Right? He said, take my name off of it, right? And he yeah. fucking hated it up until the point where he met Johnny Cash. And Johnny Cash told him that he liked it. Oh, so really? that made him change his mind. Um, but, so he funny. actually, he, I don't think he likes it, but he appreciates it. Yeah. And uh, because he was able to release his script. Johnny Cash. So people know. That's so that, funny. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine he liked the movie. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys, make sure to tune in next week as we review Spider-Man Far From Home. And 
my pick, Ooh. which is um, a movie I haven't fully seen. A, a friend of mine recommended me, and I thought it would be a good idea to watch. All of us watch it, watch that one, and have a Together. fresh review of it. Huh. It's called Killing Gunther, starring my boy Otto Schwarzenegger. Ooh, can't wait. <laughs> and that'll be interesting. It's a good ass mockumentary, and I hope I like it. I hope you guys like it as well, because my friend 100% recommended it to me. Send me the trailer like five times this week. Oh, shit. Because he wants me to watch it, so I'm, I'm, I'm into it. So, Spider Man Far From Home. What's your prediction, guys? What do you guys think? I think I might like it. So, you think you're in? I think I won't be in. Yeah, I think I'm going to be in. I think it's going to be like a really enjoyable movie. I am a little iffy about uh, Gyllenhaal, though. Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm, I'm, What's wrong with Jake Gyllenhaal? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can see him here, you know? <laughs> that was like a personal thing. Yeah, you see him as a nightcrawler. Yeah, I see him as a nightcrawler, so yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I, I don't know about this thing because I didn't really like Homecoming. I oh. love Tom Holland, but I don't like Homecoming. Oh, but I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this movie. Just by the trailer, you hurt my heart. I have a feeling that he's gonna. This is gonna win me over. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm for sure gonna be. In, I predict I'm be in on it for sure. But I am still questioning what is the purpose of Mysterio's Jake Jake Gyllenhaal. That's Mysterio. the whole point. Is he's mysterious. That's not. <laughs> that's not the reason his name. <laughs> but I am. I'm pretty sure. I want to know what, what, what's his purpose in this movie. Supposedly he's from another. Universe or whatever. Overall, hopefully we have a good time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I think we're sure. gonna be a good, good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We'll tune in to next week, and um, see you next time. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye.